everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch Arrow TV series, the Arrow figure from Mattel. Now, this figure comes packaged in a window box type packaging, a very similar style of packaging to their 4 inch Multiverse line. As you can see here, the packaging is very similar, color design, and everything. We've got the Arrow TV series and the DC Comics Multiverse logo up at the top. The figure's clearly displayed. And then down below we have an image of the character from the TV show as well as the name. And it also tells us that it comes with a collect and connect Justice Buster figure piece. On the side we have an image of the character from the TV show again. Also some brief stats. And then on the back, we have a look at all six figures in the first wave, as well as a look at that Justice Buster Collect and Connect figure. So this wave consists of Batman, a Greg Capullo Joker, Arrow, Alternate Universe Superman, TV Series Flash, and TV Series Reverse Flash. So hitting shelves now at Toys R Us, and this I don't think is a Toys R Us exclusive, but that is where these figures are currently showing up. We've got the Arrow, Flash, and the Greg Capullo Joker figure. The Batman, the Superman, and the Reverse Flash will be released at a later date. And then also up at the top we have a little brief bio for the Multiverse line, just like we did with the 4-inch figures. I do think it's kind of funny that the one thing missing on the packaging for this 6 inch line that was on those 4 inch figures was how it tells us these are highly detailed and authentic and for adult collectors. Okay so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now that I have it out of the packaging and in my hands I can see why they removed highly detailed and authentic off of the packaging. So we'll start off looking at the accessories which are very lackluster. You've got a bow which really doesn't look anything like we saw in the TV series. The sculpting of the bow is, is much more based on the first season of Arrow which doesn't match the figure which has the actual green mask which we didn't see until the third season. So in the third season he had a compound bow um, so this is more would be more in keeping with what we saw him use in the first season. But even that aside, the colors, the paint application on this thing is nothing like what we saw in the TV series. They've just used a, a silver metallic color on the main part of the bow and then brown plastic for the middle part with some black wrappings. Whereas in the TV series, his bow was always basically green. The arrow, again, not a lot of detail. A very big arrowhead at the tip, uh, not very sharp either, very dull. Silver metallic paint again for that. And then the rest of the arrow is just a green plastic. A um, little bit warped out of the packaging. And on the feathers on the back, they're, it's just green. They don't have the yellow on the feathers like we saw in the TV series. Now the arrows that are sculpted on the figure are not removable. They have painted yellow on those. But with the arrow they give you separately, it is, it is just all green. So my recommendation, if you happen to own a 7-inch DC Collectibles Arrow figure, Season 3 Arrow figure, I would give it this figure its accessories if this is the figure you're going to display. Because these are much nicer than what they've included with this figure. Now I also want to note with the bow and arrow, he can only hold the bow staff in his left hand because that's the only hand that's sculpted open. And then with the right hand, and he does hold it pretty well, get it in there. Um, oh, and I also, I think I forgot to mention, there's no bowstring on this bow. So it looks kind of funny holding a bow without a bowstring, but there you go. And then with the right hand, all they've done is not a lot of detail on it, and then all they've done, it's closed fisted basically, and they've drilled a hole in the front of it. And so what you do is you just take that arrow, the, the end of that arrow, and you stick it in the hole. And it does fit in there pretty tightly, um, so you know, it allows them to hold the arrow. And yes, the um, DC collectible arrow, um, you can stick in there as well. It doesn't fit quite as tight, but if you do, again, want to use the arrow from, from your DC collectible 7-inch figure, you, it does work with this figure. The accessory this figure comes with is the collect and connect build a piece. It's the right arm to the Justice Buster figure, which the Justice Buster is this big suit of armor Batman builds to take on the Justice League. 
basically DC's version of the Hulkbuster. Now this arm, as far as paint detail, doesn't have a whole lot. It's basically a gray type plastic, and then they've got this one panel on the front they've done with a dark gray, and then another panel on the side they've also done with a dark gray. But that's it as far as paint details on this. It is pretty tall. It comes up almost to the figure's uh, the six inch figure's uh, shoulder, so the arm is pretty tall. And it's got, uh, it's basically got a ball joint for the elbow, a single hinged joint, and then also um, a hinge joint up here where it connects into the shoulder. Now, this is the only figure I, I've picked up so far from this line, so I don't have any of the other pieces. But eventually, um, when I have all six figures, I'll, I'll try and do a review of the Justice Buster. Moving on to the figure itself, like with the accessories, this figure is not very detailed as far as paint applications. Even the sculpting is pretty weak for the most part. It's a very basic figure. Again, comparing it to the DC collectible 7-inch version, the 7-inch the version is, is much nicer with details and sculpting and everything. So other than this one being a 6-inch figure, and there is one thing I want to show you that I do kind of like on the 6-inch version over the 7-inch. But otherwise, I really wouldn't recommend this one over the 7-inch version. But anyway, face sculpt on this one is actually, I think, is okay. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. You can pretty much, you know, tell who it's supposed to resemble. It's not dead on or anything, but but I think they did an okay job. Now, the paint applications on the face are, are so-so. He's a very clean face. They did try and add some 5 o'clock shadow. Looks more like he's got a beard. But, um, you yeah, know, they did try and add that. Otherwise, very clean face. The mask, you know, he's got the full-on green mask. And his eye pupils are pretty good. He's got blue eyes. So no complaints there. The hood, and this is actually one of the things I do like on this figure over the DC collectible version, is it's a separate piece from the rest of the figure. So you can actually turn the head and he doesn't end up looking into his hood like with the DC collectible one. So I do like that. Now the hood itself, it doesn't pull off the head at all. It's it's a kind of vinyl material, but it's glued onto the head fir firmly, so you can't pull it back or anything. He's got the quiver on his back, which is not removable. He's got the arrows in the quiver, which are not removable. Now, as I mentioned, the arrows, they've at least, the ones that are sculpted on the figure look more TV accurate with the yellow and green feathers on the ends. Same with the ones on his side, the, the mini arrows on his side. And again, that holster is just kind of glued onto the side of the figure and the arrows are sculpted into the holster. They're not, they're not removable. Paint details are pretty basic. You've got a lighter green for up here around his shoulders and the hood itself. And then you've got a darker green for basically throughout the rest of the body. No shading or anything like that. You've got black for the straps that go around and the trimming uh, on his costume. And no real detail, you know, on the on the seven inch DC collectible one. You've got some sculpting detail on this trimming and stuff, but not with not with the six inch version. Um, you do have the little uh, thing, the little arrows that he has on his one wrist. Um, which are the the piece is sculpted, but not very well painted. They did paint a little bit of yellow for the for the arrow uh, feathers but the rest is just kind of a dark plastic nowhere near as detailed as as like we see on the DC collectible version one no green no lighter green striping on the legs or anything like that you do have a little bit of sculpting detail um, here down here on the bottom part of the legs and then you've got the boots which are done almost with a, a black so this figure stands just a little bit over six inches tall he's definitely uh, much shorter than the seven inch DC collectibles one obviously here he is next to DC collectibles icon six inch flash figure and you can see even though the Mattel one is a bit taller these are pretty close uh, to the same height so much closer than say the icons with the Marvel Legends figure now here's a DCUC flash figure, and you can see the DCUC is taller than this uh, Arrow TV series figure. And then just for one more comparison, if you want a death stroke figure to go up against your Arrow TV series figure, um, you can take the Arkham video game death stroke that Mattel did. This is a six inch figure. And again, these two figures are pretty close in the same height. Articulation on this figure is okay. It's not great. Don't expect to get this figure in any kind of good arrow firing positions, unfortunately. 
the head is on a ball joint so he can look left and right and as I mentioned before that hood is a separate piece so it doesn't prevent him from turning his head at all which is nice there is no up or down movement no real up or down movement with the head on this one arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint so you can get the arm all the way out now the the way this uh, shoulder is sculpted it kind of sticks out a little bit and this is just a hard plastic it's not like rubber material or anything so when you're rotating the arm you do have to kind of rotate it outwards to get it over that but otherwise it's got pretty good rotation arm is a single hinged elbow unfortunately so that's about as much as he can bend the elbow he does have a rotation there at the elbow joint and then he has swivels at the wrist, but no hinges on the hands, unfortunately. No midsection ab crunch of any kind. He does have a waist swivel. And then the legs are done with those uh, side joints. So he can do the splits good. And he can do his leg forward pretty good. And he can do his leg back pretty good. He does have a thigh swivel. Single hinged knee, so he can bend his knee about that much. And then he's got hinges on his feet, so he's got up and down movement with the feet, but no rotation and no ankle pivot. And then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I, I can't really highly recommend this figure. If you're really into six inch figures and you want an Arrow TV series in that six inch scale, then, then this is the way to go, obviously, because the DC Collectibles ones is seven inch. But as far as detail and everything, you know, the DC Collectible wins hands down. Now, I do like how they've done the hood on this version as opposed to the DC Collectibles one, so you can actually turn the head without him looking into the hood. I do like that. But otherwise, you know, like I said, pretty much every other category, I would go with DC Collectibles over this one. Now, the only other advantage of this figure is if you want to get that, that Justice Buster Collect to Connect figure, you're going to have to pick this one up to get the arm. So this figure, along with the Greg Capullo Joker figure and the TV series Flash figure, are starting to hit shelves now at Toys R Us. I don't think this is a Toys R Us exclusive series, but right now Toys R Us is the only place I've heard or seen, seen these figures showing up. My Toys R Us just had the one Arrow figure, which is the one I picked up. But I know the other two are out as well. And then the other three figures to finish up that Justice Buster will be coming out at a later date. And the figures cost, at Toys R Us at least, about $20. So we'll have a full gallery of images up at ToyNewsEye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.